A call to the man justice for Eric Garner, who died in a chokehold from a police officer two years ago, has caused an uproar in Brooklyn's Cabin Plaza. There is an epidemic, an epidemic all across this country of the police murdering, especially black and Latino people, but others, Native Americans and others, and getting away with cold-blooded murder. This is, a, this is genocide. Rise up, stop police terror. Which side are you on? While asking the public to take the side for justice, Eric Garner's family asked students and employees to walk out of school and work to attend the demonstration. If we don't walk out, we're not going to be able to um, be able to walk the streets without a continual harassment uh, from the from the police. A sacrifice for justice can be easier said than done. Living only a couple blocks away from James Madison High School, school teacher George Wilson has a different take on this walkout protest. As an educator, I don't like this idea of kids leaving classroom. But if it's for one day or two, I don't think I don't, I don't think this would be a problem because they, in fact, those kids got to learn to stand for their rights. I do believe in the power of taking a stand. I understand it's a political statement, but I also do understand that for this to be very progress, for this to be very uh, beneficial, we have to do it in the correct way. Like me just walking out of class without my teachers knowing why defeats the purpose. Tovar, who wanted to go to the demonstration, could not make it because her class went in Lao. But with more students leading the marches, their participation in protests seemed to be more crucial. Tovar and Wilson both say that students have to find a good balance between education and activism if they want to see a change. Reporting in Brooklyn, New York, this is Joran Jeffrey for Reboot New York.